Hey everybody, it's Marie. So, I just complained about this like yesterday. That horror block never makes it in the month you order it. But, it's here. January 27th, and it's here. I am so proud of horror block for getting this to me in January. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, horror block. <laughs> and I remember the teasers. Um, Sounds of the Lambs and Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, I remember those. Didn't even look them up. I just remembered them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take <laughs> the plastic off of here. And we will see what is in Horror Block for January 2017. It's kind of heavy. All right, let's check it out. Okay. Ugh. All right, all right, I see a box in here. Ooh, no markings on it. All right. No markings on this secret little box. Oh, great. Can I open it? There we go. Gosh, I didn't think I'd have to open up two boxes. Good thing I got this letter opener. All right. All right. I see wash before use made in China. All right. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. It's like a bell jar and it says poison on it. <laughs> That's kind of I like that actually. That's neat. It's a good size too. I like this. That's a cool little item. Don't break it. All right. Then we got, oh, Silence of the Lambs, a beanie. I'm actually wearing a hat today. I never wear hats, which is hilarious. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs beanie. That's okay. Let's see if it's licensed. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> No, it's not licensed, but it does say 2016 MGM, but I thought maybe it'd have like a tag on the inside, but no. Oh, that's cool. It's freezing. It's actually snowing right now outside where I'm at, so very cool. Okay, what else we got in here? Move the shirt. We'll do that last. All right. Um... Oh, okay, Resident Evil 20th Anniversary um, S-T-A-R-S badge, die-cast replica. I don't know anything about Resident Evil. I'm not even going to lie to you. I know nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little police badge. Um, raccoon. Police Department, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. That's the heavy little badge. Oh, and you can... Oh, it's magnetic, too, so you can actually, like, use it as a magnet if you want to. That's cool. But I don't know anything about Resident Evil, so... <laughs> but I'm sure people that like Resident Evil would like it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> what else we got in here? Oh, we have a pin. Oh, very, very cool. It's a Jaws pin. Oh, I like this. Horror block pin. This is really cool. It says Amity Island Swim Club, established 1975. I like that item. I love me some pins. <laughs> I love the back, even the backing. It's got a little bite taken out of it. I like that. Very cool item. Oh, we have a Friday the 13th item. This is actually really cool, too. A Camp Crystal Lake air freshener. But it's cool looking. Yes, that is awesome. <laughs> I still have the zombie one in my car that Mike Tap gave me. It probably doesn't smell anymore, though. 
This is cool. Oh, and it's pine scented. That's good to know. So it doesn't smell like blood. <laughs> That's what I would think it would smell like. Pine, though. Well, that makes sense in the woods. Come on, Marie. All right, I'm okay. All right. Let's see, then we got. Oh, cool. This is one of those uh, Rue Morgue, like. Uh, like the special edition ones, like the books. I like these. Um, Phantasm Film Companion. Oh my gosh, my brother loves Phantasm. Oh, he's, you know what, I'm just probably going to have to give this to him. He is going to love this. It's all about Phantasm. And it's through Rue Morgue. Yeah, the Rue Morgue Library. That's really cool. I mean, I don't, I've never seen any of the Phantasms. Sorry. My brother loves them, though. So this will be an awesome item for him. Very, very cool. And then I think we have the shirt. Oh, no. We, gosh, this box, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of hilarious. It's a Valentine card. <laughs> and it's from my bloody Valentine. That's pretty funny. Be mine. <laughs> oh, Butcher Vision. Nice. All right, Butcher Vision. That's cool. Down the corner. Butcher Vision. That's cool. I like that. All right. Is this the shirt now? Yes, because this is a spoiler. Oh, it's a spoiler booklet. Okay, let's go to the shirt. <clears throat> All right, shirt. I don't really know what it's from, if it's just like a design. It's pretty spooky. It's almost like a, a pirate skull, kind of. <laughs> Unless it's from something and I don't know, which is definitely possible, because I don't know anything about Resident Evil. I already admitted that. <laughs> so it's pretty cool looking. He's got two sets of eyes. If anybody knows if this is from something, let me know. Unless it tells me in the spoiler book. Yeah, I guess I should go with that. Hmm. All right. That's a cool design. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't see I'm wearing it like every day, but... All right, let's see what the spoiler booklet says. Yeah, they don't usually send this. This is different. Nerd Block Magazine. Um, all right. Oh, it's the first ever issue. Welcome to the first ever issue of the Nerd Block Magazine. Okay. Well, I'm already in love because, like, there's an, an article on Freddy Krueger's most creative kills. So, I'll be checking that out. Yeah, they've got some good ones listed. Oh, my favorite one's on there. It got number four. It should be number one. When they kill Philip in number three. I love that. <laughs> in fact, I have his autograph. He's right there. <laughs> That's cool. Um, What's inside January's horror block? Okay, they still have it in here. It's just broken down a little different. Uh, Silence of the Lambs beanie. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> funny. Um, then the resident, the resident evil replica badge, uh, poison glass mason jar. Cool. The Amity Island pin, my bloody Valentine card, Jason mask air freshener, and then the Rue Morgue phantasm book. Oh, oh, the mummy. That's what the shirt is. All right. Sorry. It's from the mummy. Okay, it says, We've traveled back in time to bring a small piece of ancient Egypt to modern day. Pop on this The Mummy t-shirt to feel like you can be in two realms at once. It's an exclusive. Wow, how many exclusives? One, two, three, four, five, six things were exclusives. Wow. So the only thing that wasn't exclusive, I'll just do that, was the beanie was not an exclusive and the room morgue is not. Everything else was an exclusive item. Pretty sweet. I like it when the exclusive items are good items, not generic zombie items. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, this is pretty cool. And then there's just like little things, Marvel versus DC, just little stuff in here to look at. Advertisement for shirt pop or shirt punch, shirt pop, whatever. <laughs> All right. Nice little magazine. 
pretty cool. Well, there you have it. That was January's Horror Block. What's your favorite item? Hmm. I don't know what mine is. I like the mummy shirt. Now that I know it's the mummy, I like it more. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably the Jaws pin. I'm going to have to go with the Jaws pin. I don't know. And what's sad is it's probably like the cheapest thing in here. But I really like the Jason air freshener. That's cool. Um, I don't wear beanies. So, my son maybe. He likes, he loves sounds of the lamb. So that could be a cool item for him. I like it when everything can go somewhere. <laughs> and my brother will love that room org phantasm book. So, very cool. And this is kind of cool. It's kind of one of the more generic -y items, but it's it's neat. I like it. So, what would you guys think? Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, did you get your horror block yet? Was mine really early? Or am I still late? I don't know. I really haven't seen anybody else's yet. I try to stay away until I get mine. So, let me know what you guys think.